It's like a miracle. The miracle is two-year-old Leah Lili Ling, born with a rare syndrome, cranial synostosis, abandoned at birth, her fate to live her life in a remote and rural Chinese orphanage. When I first brought up the idea of hosting her and bringing her here for surgery, my, my husband was like, if it's temporary, then okay, we'll do it. That's because the Galm's children are grown. They were committed to helping this suffering infant. You're a grandmother? I'm a grandmother. That's my grandson up there. Yes, and I have, you know, my oldest is going to be 27. They persevered and brought Leah into their Massapequa home last year while another family in another state prepared to officially adopt. We were super attached by then, so she had already been with us for almost four months, so we were super attached to her. Suddenly, without warning, the other family withdrew, and Leah was to return to the Chinese orphanage. I used to cry thinking of what it's going to be like to say goodbye to her. The goodbye never came. Instead, the Galms just flew to China to officially adopt their daughter. This week, Amy, Tom, and Leah Galm returned home for good, and their Massapequa neighborhood was overcome. We fell in love with her, and... Temporary has become permanent. Very permanent, yes, forever. Leah has already undergone two successful surgeries. A third one is scheduled right after Christmas. Her proud parents are already predicting a joyous outcome. From Massapequa, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. She's like, give me that lollipop. She does love those lollipops. <laughs> That's good for her. The Gums say that they saw many other infants in the orphanage with cranial syndromes and cleft palates. And they hope others will consider doing what they have done, bringing such health and happiness and joy into all of their lives.